taken out of the heart because the heart is what we're exhibiting and what we're doing is we're trying to show off this heart in a way that allows people to imagine what it's like in the war. So you really won't be able to walk through here and imagine the people who worked here and feel a bit like you've met them. Keeping that sense of secrecy whilst telling the story has been something else we've really tried to concentrate on because if you're a visitor you're finding out stuff that was kept secret for so very long. I feel really proud that the veterans are understanding it and feeling it's right but also that people who are not so familiar with the story who don't know are getting it. It should work as a first impression for someone who's completely new to it and also for someone who knows huge amounts that both of those can work together. Well, good afternoon, today is the 3rd of August. And I'm here at Bletchley Park, uh, the famous code-breaking part of Britain's war effort. Successful code-breaking, and where Mr. Alan Turing spent a significant amount of time helping code-breakers. And it's beautifully done. This is a hall about telling you how they restored this crumbling facility. Uh, they were about to t bulldoze the whole thing and build houses and as they call here a petrol station, a gas station, and a uh, supermarket. And then some uh, well-meaning uh, British citizen said, this is nonsense, and they restored it. It's absolutely beautifully done. So these are some original papers that they found in the attic of some of these buildings that the War Department had forgotten to remove. And hard to tell what it is. And there is a radio that is actually used as a audiovisual thing. So beautifully done.